Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you like the content this year, please do like and subscribe down below. Anyway, we're going to get back down into Rescue Part 2, Mission 2, Survive 10 Minutes. Um, this game by, is made by uh, Tin Can Studio. They're an indie developer. Um, I'll be putting links down below um, in these videos in case I forget to mention it again. Uh, just in case you're interested, pop by and take a look. Uh, this gameplay is something you might uh, enjoy. Alright, so once again, grab some parts. We've got a minute. Let's quickly grab things and throw them in here. Uh, last time I didn't bring pumps. Let's bring pumps this time. Yeah, that might help us this time. Okay, uh, what else? What else could I bring? I could bring a filter. I don't know. What else? What else can I bring? Fuse, hey, why not? Oh, it was in there. Dude, give me stuff. Give me stuff. All this. Gotta have the TVs again, because, you know, you never want those to be done. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Uh, processor, sure. Data cable, why not? Alright, we're out of time. Let's, let's pop these in there and head off. Hit the button. <clears throat> it's definitely, uh, there's supposed to be a cutscene that plays right there. Um, like I said, this is the beta. Um, it's, it's being uh, debugged, so uh, it'll eventually be fixed. It's not a, actually a, a critical thing. So before we start looking around at our systems, first thing, I can see the timer is 10 minutes, like the scenario says, and uh, we, uh, we're going to wait till this uh, heat reaches up to our target temp, which is the blue. So um, when the atomic output is putting out enough power, then we can actually see what's going on. Some systems might not be operational. Uh, but as we can see here, everything's running as it should, and here we go, we got extra containers now. That's excellent. Um, this is half full. I'm actually going to go ahead and swap that out. Might as well do it while things are calm. This way we have fresh bottles. Fresh bottles that are our go. And uh, before an event happens, let's turn these on to main. Okay, we want to turn all these to errors. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so right now it's saying the main computer's offline, obviously, because it's missing everything. So uh, what we end up doing is getting codes like we did last time. And that's why we need this trusty manual. And these are all my spare parts. Aren't they beautiful? Um, there's also drawers, which open, and you can store some of these things. If I was a neat person, I could, you know, store some electronics here. I'm sure there's a thing for hydraulics. Yeah. Pumps are hydraulics. There we go. And we've already got some parts in there. That's nice. Oh, look, I got a filter. Uh, we got full data cables. Can't even fit anymore. Power parts here, like a fuse, transformer. I didn't even know these were in here. All right, well, I gotta pay attention to these doors and batteries. I didn't bring any. Oh, this—it's gotta be an electronic of some kind. Yeah, that was good. Have any of those? Why did it turn blue? I don't understand that. Oh, that must be like a, a glitch. So that, that's a little bug. Uh, that needs to get sorted, I think. But we'll do that for now because it looks better. Alright, 7 minutes 30 seconds. Nothing's happening. Uh, it's a quiet day out there. I don't see anything. Is there anybody out there? And our name is Jerry. We are Jerry. The unfortunate soul that was, was ejected from an exploding station. This dilapidated, insufficient life pod. <laughs> but it has everything it needs to survive, so I guess it's good enough. Would like some food. Oh, yum yum. Open it. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm seeing some kind of clouds. So what's this? It's getting cloudy. It's cloudy out there. What does that mean? I don't understand what the clouds mean. What, what's happening? Let's see anything out there. Have, oh. Oh, it's getting cold. 
So, the cold event. <clears throat> this is the nebula cold event. Uh, what that basically means is the power output is going to be reduced. So what we want to do is reduce, um, I think that's what this is anyway. Yeah, it's cold. We want to reduce uh, power usage on any non-critical systems. So we're going to go ahead and turn off the lights. I'm going to turn on my flashlight for a moment. Uh, we're going to turn off that system's already off. We need these two systems. These monitors use power but aren't required for those devices to function. So I'm going to unplug that. Uh, what else can I turn off? That's the question. Is there anything else that's on? I don't know. Is this on? There we go. It's not even powered. Okay, excellent. Uh, anything else? Oh, the grab gen. We don't need grab. So we'll depower our gravity. Now we're floating about. That's always fun. And our battery runs out on the flashlight quite often. Um, however, where's that analog? Here we go. Let's see how we're doing. Ah. Oh, man, that was bright. Uh, we can see now. Oh, that's dark. Uh, yeah, I'll do this so you guys can see. <clears throat> we can see now that we're only a little bit above the red. I would like it a little bit better than that. I might have to turn off the oxygen for a bit. So now we have the CO2 active, and let's see if we have enough to run that system. And we do. As you can see, we are almost enough to run it completely. So we're not putting too much strain on the battery. Uh, basically, there's battery power running um, right there. And since most of the power is coming from the reactor, uh, our CO2 is going to be running. And the reason the CO2 is most important as um, CO2 is poisonous and it will quickly fill uh, up. And since we want it under 1%, it's uh, quickly can be uh, one of the ways you can die is too much CO2. Oxygen slowly drains and, in case I need a little trick there with oxygen, as you can see our breathability is going down. Um, cool little trick with oxygen is I can just pull this out and if I, if I drop it and then activate it, I now, I now just leaked oxygen out of that canister and you can see our breathability um, has gone up a bit there see into the green and it takes a while to go down so oxygen we can we can manually handle for a little bit um, and basically the event continues until these windows uh, no longer have ice on them and at which case we won't be freezing uh, basically what's happening right now is the atomic uh, pile can't get hot enough. There, it's been reduced from this event, so we can no longer um, output high power. So we can't power many devices. Not to mention, we're fighting um, temperature problems, which actually that's another system I forgot about. It is right here, and it's on. There we go. So that would be uh, controlling the temp. I'm not too worried about that right now. We aren't too coldish yet. It's getting there. But the atomic pile is putting some heat out, so that's going to help keep us warm. All right, only two minutes left. We have. Wait. Uh oh. We can't have that. Battery died. Um, let's take the battery out of pressure system. my beacon there's my beacon there it is turn back on okay so if you this gets the power the beacon your countdown stops in the, because it's no longer it's putting out a signal um, it's also imperative that you have a uh, critical component is to for the minimum <laughs> is if you have to have a, either power here um, from coming from the ship which we don't right now because we are busy using it for other more important systems or battery which is the backup and the other key ingredient is this data key right here you don't need the display the display is helpful obviously so you can see the countdown but you definitely need the data cable without the data cable um, it's unable to communicate the necessary data bits to uh, a critical system we'll say a computer behind the scenes that's indestructible that uh parses the data and allows the beacon to work properly my little story. I don't know if that's actually what happens. <laughs> but you need the data game. Alright, so we have some other problems now happening. We're going to have to start turning things on. Yeah, oxygen's probably low. Uh, I could vent it again. 
Uh, the windows are clean, so let's get this back on. Oh, it is on, duh. I don't need that icon, then. It's already on. I would like lights back, even though it's back, because I can't see anything. Let's get emergency lights back on. Get regular lights? Alright. Oxygen's returning to normal. We're doing okay. I need gravity. It would help a lot. Uh, that was complaining, so we'll take a look at that in a moment. Alright. Yeah. Blow on this. That was definitely probably the issue. Yes, looks like it was. Let me put this back in so I can see. I can't see what that's doing because there's no display. Put it in. Aha. So 2NOA, same message. Probably. Can you hear me? Not good. It's me. Alright. Yes, it's. Yes, help me. Whoever it's me is. Save me. Uh, oh, on battery. Was it, it was what it was? Yeah, 2NOA, on battery. But that's because our atomic pile isn't putting out enough uh, juice yet. Yeah. Alright, and that concludes our second rescue. Quite flawless, quite flawless. This is uh, quite a fun game. I do enjoy uh, the puzzle solving. Now, I would recommend, if you do like this game, you jump into it more blind. Uh, like I said, I have some experience, so I understand uh, quite a bit about how the systems work. Um, in a blind playthrough, this might be a little exciting because uh, <laughs> you're not quite sure what you're doing. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, and uh, hope, hope to see you in another video. If not, take care. Have a good one.